All right, back. Good for Sports TV in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. One time for the one time we grind and make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Let's get into <laughs> hypothetical, man. Um, okay. Um, obviously Jalen Ramsey having some financial issues with the Jags. Um, twenty four years old. Darius Slay twenty eight. Uh, going to this season. Um, Lions have some issues playing Darius Slay. The Jaguars won't be extending Jalen Ramsey this year. He go. They extended a the fifth year option. He'll make just over thirteen next year. They could franchise tag him after this year. He said he asked for so much money they got to put him on layaway, right? He knows he's amongst one of the better, the best corners in the league, if not the best corner in the league. And we understand that. We have a problem with Darius Slay. He do two more years. We don't want to pay. We probably don't want to pay them nor the Lions. So if you are the Lions, okay, you got some money, you got some cash, okay? Do you Trade Darius Slay to the Jacksonville Jaguars. You probably got to trade a third, a fourth, four, a fifth, or probably not even that. Get Jalen Ramsey. But the thing about this deal is going to be fishy. Well, not fishy. It's that they have to hash out contracts before they respectively sign over to their team. So I think Jags won't have a problem playing Darius Slay. They got a negotiated contract before the trade go through. Jalen Ramsey got a negotiated contract before that trade goes through. Now, this works for the Lions because, for one, you get an emotional leader. Two, you perhaps get the best cornerback in the draft. And three, the Jacksonville Jaguars get rid of a head headache in Jalen Ramsey. Now, Jalen Ramsey did quit last season on them. A lot of the Jacksonville Jaguar defense quit because of Blake Broyles. He really let them down last year, especially in that Cowboys game. But you know why the Detroit Lions should do this? And I don't know if Jacksonville would per se do this, or do they, they may not have any intentions on playing Jalen Ramsey. You know, they may tear up Darius Slay contract and be like, okay, boom, we'll redo it. Okay? That might be cool for them. But the reason you do this, uh, if you're the Detroit Lions, because one, over the last shit, since Ndamukong Sue was drafted, you haven't got a premier player on this team. You haven't got one interesting player on this team. Now, I'm not saying that I wanted or didn't want to see the Lions on hard knocks. It made me no different. But one of the reasons the Oakland Raiders were picked over the Lions on hard knocks is because they got, they got star power. You know one of the reasons why the Atlanta Falcons got to get the got the benefit of the call the doubt on that call to Golden Tate a couple years ago on the goal line. They could have changed our season around. They got star power. Matt Ryan, Julio, the list goes on. The Lions don't have star power. Now that that Dominican Sue left the team, now that Calvin Johnson left the team, now that Barry Sanders is going, what marquee star has the Detroit Lions got? Now Bob Quinn haven't hasn't drafted a star. Carry on Johnson. He got potential. He hasn't lured, lured a star in from free agency. Okay? He don't have Tom Brady. He don't have Bill Belichick. Check. He doesn't have Josh McDaniels. He doesn't have a winning culture. That's the biggest star in the National Football League right now is Tom Brady. So with the Lions not being able to obtain a star via draft, via free agency, the reason you pull the trigger on a Jalen Ramsey trade and give up probably more than you need to give up for a trade is because, quite simply, there's no other way for you to throw the fishing rod out into the into the ocean and get a big fish. It is it's more important, it, and this is not a knock on Darius. Slay. I would like to bring Darius Slay back, but you get to get a guy that's four years younger, a guy that's legitimately a top three cornerback. Okay, not an Adrian Patrick Peterson, a young a young guy. Big physical corner, shut down, and you upgrade a, a position that was already a strong suit, your number one cornerback position. You upgrade that. You bring a personality there. You bring a guy that got your know, sassy swag. Okay, we really don't care for sassy swag, but hey, you niggas listen to Sada Baby, so I ain't trying to hear it. Okay? You bring a guy that's an emotional leader, a vocal leader, a guy that got star power to the team. You need that for the Detroit Lions. You need that vocal leader. You need the guy that got superstar talent. 
You need the guy that can drive in Sunday night, Monday night games on a regular basis. Not only do you need him, you need him to get those things. You need him to to help, you know, uh, uh, reel in other superstars that want to be here. Because if you're able to get him here, and let's say Detroit Lions go, I'm just throwing a number out there. Let's say they go 11-5 and five and make it to the NFC Championship game. This is a total hypothetical. This is not my prediction. You know what? Then the building blocks start being there. They like the amino acids to, to, to nutrients, the building blocks for something great. Jalen Ramsey, boom. All right, we started winning games with Jalen Ramsey. The defense was good. The, 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 the offense was solid. Kerryon Johnson budding into a star. People paying attention to uh, uh, Matthew Stafford a little bit more. Kenny Galladay is starting to come and start. Now you on up and up. Now you can reel in another star. Oh, they might win something in Detroit. Jalen Ramsey turned it around or Patricia turned it around. Now you get you another star. The Detroit Lions need star power. And they desperate for it, man. Okay? They need somebody jersey that's going to sell off the rack. They need somebody that HBO want to pay attention to. They need somebody that, you know, that, that's going to keep it on, on that Thanksgiving Day game. They need somebody that's going to drive in Sunday, Monday night rating. Right? Really? Look on the outside looking in, who wanna see the the, the, the Lions on, on a primetime game? You don't have nobody you want to see. Stafford, contrary to what y'all believe, is not a star. Okay? Carry on Johnson, not yet. Kenny Galladay, not yet. Hawkinson's, we don't know. Other than that, who do you want to see defensively? They don't pay to see Trey Flowers. They don't pay to see those big uglies up front on either side of the ball. Jared Davis, Kennard, Christian Jones, no. Quadre Diggs, oh yeah. But you know what? You know, you know what? He need a running mate. He need an alpha male vocally, and that'd be Jalen Ramsey. You know, once they able to get the eyeballs on the set, you know what I'm saying? People start paying attention to the Lions. Quadre Diggs is gonna be a fan favorite around the National Football League. That's why you get that's why you upgrade this position now. You get younger, bigger, stronger. And complete at that position. You pay the price for a top talent like that. Now, Jalen Ramsey may get there and be like, you know, he might, before you trade for him, oh, I want to play there, no matter how much money you get. Then you you ask Tyler, all right, you keep Darius Slay. But if you talk the right numbers to Jalen Ramsey, he going to come play. If you, if you, uh, if you, if you talk, if you talk in his language, he going to come play. This is actual factual. You know, if you talk in this language, he going to come play. The money-wise, he played in Jacksonville, for God's sakes. Jacksonville, Duval County is nice, but it ain't. It, they just as sorry in football as we is. So you want to upgrade that position. If you can upgrade that position, but it's, the key here is you want to get a big fish to lower in other big fish. Now, you got you got C's Planet here, okay? You got Kirion. You got Hawkinson, you got Galladay. Okay, you got three serious dudes right there that can bud into stars. Okay, but you need somebody else that can reel in stars. You got uh, Quadre, you know, and Jelani Tavai can grow into something. You know what I'm saying? Then you got homeboy on the line from Alabama, Deshaun Shed. Deshaun Hand, excuse me. You know, you got the you got the building block, but Jalen Ramsey can can elevate you to getting, you know, another superstar in free agency. Okay? In, in plain, plain terms, Jalen Ramsey is your Barry Sanders. He's your Calvin Johnson. He's your Dominic and Sue. He's that. He's that for you. But this time, you don't want to just stop at Jalen Ramsey. You want to go out there and find the next, I don't know who else, Javon Curse. You want to go out there and get him a running mate. You want to go out there and and add another Megatron. You want to go out there and develop more guys like that. But I think it's a risk worth taking, man. You know, breaking the bank for him. That's showing that the Lions are serious about winning. You know, and Darius Slay would be shipped out of here, but I wouldn't give a damn. But maybe you can keep both of them, you know. But financially, that's going to be tough to do. So why not swap Slay for Ramsey? And they can get, he can get his contract from Jacksonville. We give Ramsey his contract. He won't. But let me know what you guys think. Total hypothetical. Got more videos like this coming tomorrow. God willing. Motor City Sports Talk. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, a quiet response, ship a video request. One time for the one time. Motor City Sports Talk. Appreciate the love, support, and please share the video.